Now, once we know that how to make HTTP request using Node, let's understand how to work with files in Node. Working with files is super easy in Node because you have inbuilt Node modules to work with files. In Node, you can create, update, delete, or manipulate any file. So let's take a look at some example of files. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to import the fs module inside this index.js. So here I'm going to say constant fs is equal to and require the module called fs. fs short for file system. It is the one of the most basic and useful module in node. fs is one of the out of the box module that comes with node. So it is already available to you. You don't have to install this fs module using npm. So once you have fs module, let's use it. So down here, I'm going to say fs dot read file. I'm going to call method read file. So as a first argument, as you can see, we have the path of the file. Here as a first argument in the double code, I'm going to specify the file name. So here I'm going to say test dot txt. As you know, I don't have this file in my folder. Just out of that, I'm going to specify the type. So in the single code, I'm going to say utf8. So this is the type of this file. And then I'm going to call the callback function. So here I'm going to say function. Then first parameter is the error parameter. And second is the data parameter. So as you can notice, I'm going to call the callback function here. Oops. I just specify here function. Let me just get rid of this function. Now, once I have my arrow function as a callback function, inside this function, I'm going to say if, if we have error, then just throw it. So I'm going to use here throw keyword with error variable. As you can notice here, I have this error parameter. So if we have any error using this read file method, I'm going to just throw it. Don't worry, we will understand how to use exception handling in Node later in this course. Just for now, just throw this error. And then here I'm going to say console.log. I just specify here data parameter. So once we read the data from this file, I'm going to just put that data inside this data parameter and just print it. I'm going to save the changes. And now, as you know, I don't have this file in my folder structure. So let me just create it. So I'm going to just create here a new file with the name test.txt. And inside this file, I'm going to specify welcome to node application. Save the changes back to the index.js, save this file and execute it. When I execute this file, as you can notice, I'm going to have the result. Welcome to node application. So I'm going to have this data in this data parameter and I'm going to just print it using this console.log method. So this read file method allows us to read the data from any file. You can notice here, we write this code in a synchronous way. If you want, you can make this code synchronous as well. FS module have two methods asynchronous and synchronous. This is the asynchronous version. Let me show you how to create the same thing with synchronous way. So down here, I'm going to call a method of synchronous fs module. We just have to create here a variable constant data is equal to and I'm going to just get the data from the function in this data variable. So I'm going to say here fs dot and call a method read file sync. I'm going to call this method of fs module. So as you can notice here, at the end of this method, we have sync. So this indicate this is the synchronous method. So I'm going to just specify here a method parameters. And inside it, as a first argument, I'm going to specify the path of the file. So here I'm going to say test.txt. Just out of that, you need to specify the encoding and the flag. As you can notice here, we have the options as a second argument. Here we have encoding and flag. So I'm going to specify here curly braces. And inside it, I'm going to specify encoding colon. And in the single code, I'm going to specify utf8. And now I'm going to specify flag. So I'm going to specify here flag, specify colon, and specify r here. I want to just read this file. So I'm going to specify a flag r. Save the changes. And now let's just print this data. So down here, I'm going to say console.log and print this data variable like this. When I execute this file, as you can notice, I'm going to have the same result. So as you can notice, I just introduced both these methods to work with files. This is the asynchronous way and this is the synchronous way. Now suppose you want to check the file status. You have the method for that as well. So here I'm going to say fs.state. Using this state method, you can display the different status of the file. 
So here I'm going to say state and in the parentheses, I'm going to specify argument. So here I'm going to first specify the file name test.txt. The second argument is going to be the options or the callback functions. So I'm going to specify here callback function. So I'm going to specify here callback function just like this. And I'm going to pass parameters here. Oops. I'm going to specify parameter error. And the second argument is going to be the status. So I'm going to say here state. Just out of that in this callback function, you can do many things with this text file. So inside this callback function, here I'm going to say if, if there is any error in this file, just console this error using console.error. And I'm going to just print this error like this. And I'm going to say here return statement, just like this. If the file successfully open using this status down here, I'm going to say console.log. And using this state argument, I'm going to check if it is a file or a directory. So inside this console.log, here I'm going to say states dot is file. So I'm going to call this method is file. Save the changes. And now let me execute this file. As you can notice, I'm going to have true as a result. I put this synchronous code before this status. So I have to get this output before this true. This is happening because you choose here sync function. As I said earlier, asynchronous coding is best for time consuming task. Here we use sync function and this is the synchronous code. As you can notice, this code executed at the end of the application. Now as you can notice, this statement returned true because this is a file. Then let's check this file is a directory or not. Here I'm going to say console.log. If you want to check this file is directory or not, you can say here states dot is directory this statement will return false because this is not directory it is a file just for that here i'm going to say console.log and using the states i'm going to call a method is symbolic link and this statement is also going to return false as you know this is just a simple file we don't have any link or any reference inside this text file so this is not the symbolic file so it will return false as a result just for that, I'm going to say here console.log. Using the state argument, you can print the size of the file as well. Here I'm going to say state dot size. This property is going to print the size of your file. I'm going to save the changes and execute this file. And as you can notice, this is the size of your text file. So these are some useful way you can work with files in Node. Next, we're going to talk about how to write and update files.